kitchen here at the cell phone store today I'm going to show you a little tutorial how to how to install a fresh installation on a surface on a surface um, on my cassette surface so basically I was having issues on this on this surface it's called American um, magnet trends it's basically the BIOS the BIOS is just like right there I tried for, uh, different installations I tried different um, Windows, Windows 10s, Windows 7s, and I haven't, I didn't have no luck. So what I did, I tried to research, but I couldn't find nowhere, no information about this uh, fresh installation or how to install this installation. So what I did, I tried to do with the Windows 7, I tried to change the settings to secure boot, disable secure boot to UFI, UFI mode or um, just from every type of way, but there was no way that I couldn't get it to work. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to get the operating system, the Gini One operating system for this. So what I did, I went to Microsoft.com, Surface, Backslash, uh, Support and all that stuff. So basically I'll put the link in the bottom and you can see uh, where to download this program. So from here it shows you the operating systems that you're looking for right here, Windows 10, Windows RT, um, all that good stuff. And, but you can just go right here. It just shows you more information of what what is the issue you're having with the surface logo screen The operating system the one I was having it was a firmware interface UFI configuration settings. So I clicked on that one At first I couldn't understand it, but I got the hang of it um, The force restart I tried that didn't work with me and work with me So what I did I just went to another one downloaded the recovery image surface uh, let me see. Yeah, so it's right there. It's the, uh, download recovery image for your surface. So I clicked on that to get the operating system. Yes, I am using a Mac. Uh, it's better to use a PC. I, I just this is my personal computer. I do have a PC. It's a personal computer as well. So I use both of them. I like both of them. So from here, you have the option to sign in or uh, second option to use to choose your product. So mine is a Surface Pro, no sorry, Surface, Surface, uh, a Microsoft Surface 3, version 3. So it's going to ask you which version, I mean, which one is it, you click on the one you want, and it's going to ask you for your serial number. The serial number, you can check in the back, small little numbers right there, right there, that's the small little numbers, that's the model, that's the serial number of the device. So you go from there, just down, you get that. And from there, you just put the serial number. So an example, I can write it down for you. Okay, so I already got the model number going. And from there, it's gonna tell you the operating system, the everything that it has. So this one's a Surface Pro, Surface 3, Windows 10. You just click on download. And right there, you'll be downloading the zip file. At first, I thought it was going to be an ISO file or maybe it was uh, something else, but it didn't come out like that. It came out a zip file. So at first, I was pretty confused how to how to uh, do this as a bootable device. But it does. You don't have to do nothing special. You just drag all the files that it has. Um, let me see. I can just show you real quick the downloads I have. So basically, it's going to be your zip file, you just open it, and just you, you'll need a 16 gigabyte, doesn't matter what brand, you just put a 16 gigabyte, transfer all the information that it has there, just copy and paste, you don't have to do nothing technical, I was going through third party applications to do bootable DSBs and all that good stuff, but it didn't work out for me, uh, so you don't need none of that. So from there, when you got everything on your USB, you're gonna go back to your computer. I recommend having all these settings the way I did that the way is this way. So the trusted platform, just click enabled, uh, secure boot enabled, um, everything the same. Configuration, the configuration would be SSD only, but change it to network USB and SSD. And from there, just click on exit. Yes. 
put your USB on. Right now it's just booting up, so it won't, it's gonna ask me, it's gonna give me the BIOS again. So yeah, you can see the BIOS again, you can just click on escape, yes. And you don't have to do nothing crazy, you just put in your, sim your, your, um, your flash drive and let it load. And it should be installing the operating system pretty soon. It's gonna give you an option. It's gonna give you an option to. Uh, it's gonna give you three options: the English, Spanish, or uh, stuff. Let me just charge it up before it dies. Charge it up in a few minutes. So you can see right here. So you can see the menu. So choose your language. So I'm gonna choose English. Uh, what type of keyboard? United States. Troubleshoot. Uh, recovery from this device. And from there, you should start doing a fresh installation on your device. You just, uh, we'll just hold on for a few minutes and get that started. So right here, I already gave me the menu that says say recover from drive. I want to fully clean this drive. Uh, let's see what it said again. I'm going to troubleshoot again. Right, just making sure what type of settings it had. So yeah, just go to recover from this drive. Oh, not recover. Just go from... There you go, fully clean. Cover. And right now it's just recovering the, it's just recovering this PC. So basically it's getting back, everything back and going. So yeah, that should be it. And if you guys have any questions, we'll be glad to help you out. Uh, and you can give us a call back. You can give us a call, check us out, subscribe, like if you see, if you like the video, if it, help, if it helped you out. Um, at first I had a hard time looking for videos and tutorials how to get this going. I could understand. I wasn't too sure how to burn the ISO or or how to do anything. So this one is pretty simple. It's just drag, drag and drop. No extra configurations or nothing. Just drag and drop. Put in the USB. Oh, to make sure it has to be a FAT32 format. So make sure it's FAT32, and I'll put the link in the bottom so you can see more. It tells you more information about that. Okay, guys. So let me just. Uh, Fast forward this and I can show you. Okay guys, so we're back and it, it's gonna show you this information right here. It's gonna show it's gonna say um, trusted platform module. So the TPM is trying to be clear it's trying to be clearing executive request. So um, it's basically saying that if we're gonna we're gonna erase everything on the trusted platform, just click on F12. And get that started. If that doesn't work, you can click on escape. Now, right there, it's already loading up. You just have to wait for a minute and see. Wait for a minute and just see what it shows up. So, I'll tell you the truth, this is my first time too setting it up. So, let's see what it does. So yeah, if you if you guys don't know, it is the holidays. It's it's in December. We we're not currently on the 25th, but we are on the 14th of December in 2016. So that's why you you can see me right here with the holidays, the holiday hats and stuff. So yeah, it's just um something that we're celebrating right here so yeah if you guys have any information here's our contact information as well so that's a 3890898 so our specials that we're having 2017 specials computers cell phone repairs cell phone fix that 
All right, good stuff. Okay, so just... Like I said, guys, my first time setting it up, but I found this information, so I was one. I was trying to spread it to the people that are having issues with this because it took me, I say, about a few hours to figure it out. But I did figure it out. At least got that going. This is for one of my customers that has crashes operating system, and they're trying to get that back. I'm trying to get the the surface. The first surface going and everything, try to make sure everything's working. So yeah, let's just hold on and let it load. Okay, you can see right there, it says getting device ready. So right now it's just um, getting everything ready for the operating system and it should be good. Like I said, this is all in the, in the flash drive. This is not an ISO or nothing. This is already, we just transferred the information. Well, I just transferred all the information to the, the zip file that it gave me. I just had to transfer it. At first I was, I was doing some complicated stuff, doing the ISO, trying to burn it, try to um, a bunch of stuff, like a lot of technical stuff, trying to do, trying to put in a hard drive, trying to put it in a disk drive, CD drive, flash drive, and you know what? I just tried it out. I was like, man, I'm gonna give it a shot. Just transfer the files, and it worked perfectly fine. So even surfaces are, I guess, easier to fix than other computers. Just finishing up. Okay, guys, you can see right here it's already starting up. It says uh, hi there. Let's take a few basic steps. So let's just click on that. Let's click on English. Everything's good. Click on next. All the legal stuff, you just click on accept. Our Wi Fi, we'll do that later. Skip later, use Express. And if anything, here's our contact information as well. There you go. We did relocate in West Sacramento, so it's 3019 now. Same phone numbers and everything, uh, website, Gmails, everything's the same. If you guys have any questions, you can just uh, subscribe, like, give us a review, comment, all that good stuff. So uh, from here, it's gonna just Ask me what's the what's the name of the computer? Just click on user. Just type user. Something basic. User PC doesn't matter. Okay. So you can see everything's working already. The operating system's already installed. There you go. It's already starting up. It's high. Oh yeah, to make sure, just to make sure, make sure that all your charger is connected because sometimes the fresh install may take a little bit longer or, or the battery might take, might not be that good on your, on your surface or computer. Make sure your charger is always connected just to be sure. You don't want it to be corrupted later on or hard drive goes out, the flash drive goes out. Uh, it all depends, not the flash drive but the SSD inside. Okay guys, I'm gonna uh, pause this real quick and just get just skip all this stuff and we'll go from there. Okay, you can see right there it says let's start. So now you have the fresh install on your computer, Windows 10, a genuine copy, no product key or nothing, it's already activated. And um, it already has all these drivers too. So I'm just gonna put the password for this. go now we all set you have a uh, Windows 10 on your surface no issues no problems everything's already working um, I, 
like to use a website it's called nightnight.com it's a multiple installation kit so basically a mo a since you can install multiple applications at once you can see chrome firefox uh itunes java net serverlite air shockwave all that good stuff avas the free antivirus protection that we offer beaver office uh, 7 zip CDXP burner, all that good stuff. So we can just set you up with all that good stuff. So yeah, guys, you can just uh, install any applications. You can go through it and see which ones you like. I like to be pretty simple. Just install an antivirus protection, use all the runtimes, and um, Chrome and Firefox and iTunes. LibreOffice for documents and Excel, all that good stuff. So yeah, you can see right now it's already installing. Just click on yes and all those programs is going to install at once so on this application you I mean this website you do need internet so and you can go from there so if you have, if you guys have any questions you can just find this right here it's called the cell phone fix dot dot net this is our website right here it shows you more information about us uh, online technical, factory unlock, computer repair, cell phone repairs, 10 years in the computer computer industry and cell phone industry, through successful businesses. Uh, we have videos there, online stores, um, our comments right there, reviews from customers that we had. Uh, computer repairs information, 10 reasons, uh, PC issues. Our website, I mean, our address right there, updated uh, address is 3019 West Capitol Avenue, West Sacramento, California. Solutions, uh, buy, sell, and trade. So if you ever want to sell your products, you'll be able to get some on top information, which ones that we're looking for and which ones are we purchasing. Uh, contact information. So these are our contact or three locations that we have in West Sacramento, Folsom, USC. And yeah, we'll be able to help you out from there. All the services that we do, desktop repairs, laptop repairs, cell phones, tablets, and sales, inventories, businesses, and factory unlocks. Just gives you information from there. And I remember the night night. So it is, uh, here's the application. You can just click on that link and they get, it takes you directly there. And yeah, shows you more information. Why are we number one? Tips, uh, buying used phones. Like a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff, and you'll be able to find this all on social media too. So if you just click on contacts, you'll find us right there on Yelp, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. And if you want to click on our YouTube, click on YouTube right there. And it'll take you directly to our YouTube. So this is called the cell phone fix. There's all the ones that we're gonna upload. We have a lot of stuff there. Uh, logos that we've done, projects, other stuff. But yeah, I'm just giving, showing you that everything's working. We got everything going. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, give me a comment, message me, and I'll be able to help you out. Just ask for effort, and yeah, we can get that going for you. All right, guys. Well, thank you for checking out my video and subscribe and like this video if you if it helped you out. Okay guys, we'll have a great day.